Gannet 1 flying inside Bravo. We're starting to get into some gannets now. Finding seabirds out here on the Gulf is no coincidence. Along the western edge is Bonaventure Island, the largest northern gannet colony in North America. Gannets are huge seabirds that like to dive bomb fish from as high as 40 meters. They have like almost two meter wingspans. They can soar for kilometers at a time. You know, they'll go on a feeding trip that takes them over 300 kilometers sometimes. The island is where gannets and other seabirds rest and nest. The ocean is where they eat. And they're not the only ones. Larger marine animals like whales, tuna, and dolphins are frequent visitors as well. Many have been coming here for centuries, but recently, one particular species has been showing up more frequently, the North Atlantic right whale. The problem is, after centuries of intensive hunting and more recently, run-ins with ships and fishing gear, there are few right whales left. That means looking for them is like trying to spot the proverbial needle in a haystack. But luckily, we're in the right place at the right time. There's one right there. Right there! Yeah. Look at that. They're right there. Oh my gosh! You're surrounded by right there. Oh. That's amazing. And this is probably the best 7.30 of my life. This is so great. Right whales typically travel alone or in small groups. There's probably a good food source around here to bring so many of them together. And where there's good food, more whales come. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out we've sailed into Whale City. Yeah, another one there. Oh, I just don't even know where I'm going. Right there, too. We just saw fin whales, minke whales, and my first ever right whales. So now we're trying to figure out why were they all in the same uh, area. And we've got a potential theory, and it's that where we saw all of those different species, you can see on the map is where it gets deeper. So it's pretty shallow, and then we get into this deeper section, and all those little fish represent the different species of whales that we saw. And then that's our boat, so we've just passed that area and we're getting into a shallow area and it's kind of cleared up. Uh, we don't see any more uh, marine mammals right now. So one idea that we're thinking is maybe there's some localized upwelling in the deep areas that would make those waters right above it really productive. When a deep sea current hits a sudden rise, it has nowhere to go but up. That upward motion begins a stirring action known as localized upwelling, which brings colder, nutrient-rich waters closer to the surface. We saw everything right there, and when it stopped, it stopped. So yeah. it really tells you how the structure of the habitat determines the species you find there. And everybody was in the same spot. I yeah. found that amazing. I've never seen an aggregation of whales. It was that. so cool. Like every direction you looked, there were just blows further ahead or just to your right. It was amazing. Or right in front of the boat. Yeah. <laughs>